Hola everyone, we are talking about the NASCAR console gaming series. I haven't made a video on this in a while, so I decided to... Let's, let's bring the update. Let's, let's talk about it a little bit. First off, I want to apologize. Uh, some of you were mad why I titled the video uh, two days ago. I think it was with the NASCAR Heat 5 update. I mean, I called it 2023. The, the official update is 2022. If the official update comes out, it will have the word official update in the title. I didn't want to just say 2023 mod. It was a 2023 update. Now, I don't know if you guys want to get mad at that. I'm not usually a one for clickbaiting, but if it's going to be the official update, I will have official update in the title. So do not worry about that. Also, that official update is coming. Uh, don't trust MSG. Trust me. And I'm telling you guys, it's coming. I don't know the exact date, but it's coming. Um, so you, you guys just, again, be patient with it. I know it's June. I actually want, that's the first thing I wanted to talk about is that NASCAR Heat 5 official update. Um, because I have some issues with it that I still really don't understand as to why it's coming out now. It's probably still going to be priced. Like, I don't expect it to be free. I expect it to have a price to it. But I, I have some issues with it. Uh, we'll get right into that in a second. I want to give a shout to all the Patreon members, as always, for supporting the channel. You guys have been the best. As always, thank you for supporting and watching and commenting. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button. And make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That's very, very big. And get in the comments down below to start the discussions as well. And the first thing I want to talk about is that update. The 2022 update to NASCAR Heat 5. And that's my biggest issue with the update. Is that, to my knowledge, and what has been said, is that it is still a 2022 update. Things might change, but unless Motorsport Games come out with a statement that, that, that when they release it, it's a 2023 update... I don't expect it to be a 2023 update. I expect it to be the next gen cars and NASCAR Heat 5 and have the 2022 roster. For it to be June of 2023, like literally Fox have completed their segment of the NASCAR schedule for their broadcast. We are in 2023. To release a 2022 roster update right now, truly to me, makes no sense. I would like to know how difficult it is to put in literally just a roster update on the next gen cars because if they are planning to release a 2022 update for nascar heat 5 and they have the next gen car there and the physics are changed and they have the five gears and all that stuff why won't you take the little bit of extra time just to change some paint schemes around and add a few drivers and there you go then now you have a 2023 update because listen i've seen what the modding community t can do i've seen them I mean, I still see people on NASCAR Racing 2003 update rosters by the week. I, you cannot tell me that it would be that difficult and cost that much to just upgrade it to 2023. I, I really don't believe it. Especially since this update has been cooking for however long and they really have not been able to release it or cook it or whatever. And I don't know how many people are on it. But in order to maybe just hire someone just to make the paint schemes for 2023... That's really all you would need, because again, you have the next-gen car. If you're planning to release a 2022 update, the next-gen car is there. The template is there. You just have to update some paint schemes and update some names and a roster list. I, I truly don't understand why it would not be a 2023 update. I'm expecting 2022, but there should be 2023, because there's no reason to update a 2022 in the middle of 2023. We are in June, guys, for a game that came out four years ago. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Because I just have a feeling now that there's a 2023 mod out there with a, a full list, I think like going to a 2022 official update, but we, but we, but would be weird. But I want to give a message to the modding community of the NASCAR He5 modding community. Be ready. Just be ready. I don't know how it's going to work because obviously they have modded a next gen car into the game. I'm not sure how the templates will work with the paint schemes. But if there is, uh, and there will be obviously, that next-gen car in the official update, and there's not 2023 cars, just be ready to mod a 2023 roster slash paint scheme into that update. Uh, I just don't know how it's going to be. I don't know what you guys are going to have to do. Again, because I don't have practice with modding, I don't know. But I just know that if the files are different than what you guys have, which they probably will be, 
but if the if you can match the templates close enough then let's see if those if those 2023 paint schemes can transfer over when the official update comes out if nascar heat 5 and motorsport games decide to keep it as a 2022 because that's my biggest thing for me i want the update to come out i want the, the change in the physics and the change of the cars but i don't want to go back to 2022 rosters so if the modern community could be I'm, I'm telling you guys be ready for it if you guys can be ready for it and see if you can get that out quickly that'd be awesome seriously that would be very very cool nascar 21 ignition is still around i genuinely don't care I, I want that game to be thrown into a pit of fire and never to be seen again um i don't expect motorsport games to 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 update that in any way i think that's done with now there might be some sort of contract with nascar that they have to update their most recent nascar game that one's very interesting because there there still are rumors out there that that motorsport games has to release a new nascar game or content some sort in each year so 2021 2022 2023 i think nascar rivals counted under that quota for last year so will they just release another switch game and that will be the the quota for that one i don't know there i feel like there has to be something done um not just a whole nother year without a game which that's going to happen there is going to be a whole nother year without a game and i'm expecting actually next year as well 2024 to be without a nascar game uh which continuously uh makes me want to throw my head into a pit of lava that we are going to go three years without a nascar game i literally just want to like just cut my head off game of thrones style throw it in a pit, a pit of lava and then i don't know regenerate me as a plant or something I, I just i'm very sick and tired of it but yeah i don't expect a, a new nascar game anytime soon just expect an update to nascar heat 5 and then maybe a new switch game which is just nascar heat 5 so it's just a lot of nascar heat 5 essentially because that that's what the switch game is it's it's nascar heat 5 that's ported into the nintendo switch that's all it is so uh yeah on i mean nascar 21 ignition i don't see updates for that um I don't want updates to that. They literally updated the game and made the AI worse. So I don't want updates to that. Uh, I want that game in a pit of fire. When could you see a new NASCAR game? Like I've been saying, guys, um, 2025. That's where I expect it. Uh, before you even get to that point, Motorsport Games might not have the license, but they might not even be continuing as a company. You still have, obviously, the new CEO of Stephen Hood there. Um, Mike Straw has released uh, an article saying the mood and the morale is definitely much better. You have Motorsport Games actually talking about releasing a game uh, for the first time in a long time with the um, with the Le Mans game, what, late 2023? Uh, so that game is being rumored to come out. That game is also rumored to basically be R-Factor 2, just with a Le Mans skin on it. So we'll see how that game is. And it's also not coming to consoles. So that game is only going to PC. Again, for the reason of it's R-Factor 2. That's the code. <laughs> They're using the R Factor 2 code for that game. So, yeah. Uh, and then that IndyCar game, which is apparently using the Kartcraft un uh, Unreal Engine system. So, that game is apparently coming in 2024. Uh, expect that to be on console. So, there's just... I feel like there's too many... There's too many pieces moving for that company to to match it all, right? Like, you have R Factor 2 in Studio 397. You're trying to release stuff there. And then you have Kartcraft and an IndyCar license. You're trying to release stuff on that. And then NASCAR is just fiddling somewhere, like in the middle of nowhere, just flying in space. Yeah, I, I'm just not very excited. I'm not very optimistic. Usually I'm optimistic. You guys know that. I like to be on the positive side of things. That's how I am. I like to think, you know, glass half full and not glass half empty. But I don't see any, any hope for, for NASCAR console gaming. I don't. I don't see it. For iRacing, yes. But for, for NASCAR console gaming, like an actual new console game, where is it? I, I, I don't see any of it. I don't see a pathway. I don't see hope. I don't see any of it. I'm really just ticked off. Like, this should not have happened. I want to put this timeline into perspective as to why I'm really frustrated. So, you have NASCAR Heat 4 that releases, I think that was, what, 2019? That's the last game that was made that was acceptable and new. NASCAR, that, that 2019, four years ago, all right? We're talking about a company that has a license to release yearly NASCAR games. And the last game that was released that was new was four years ago, new and acceptable, was four years ago, all right? You then have NASCAR Heat 5, which is a copy and paste because they use the excuse, 
of you what we want to work on the new game. Then you have NASCAR 21 Ignition, which is broken and a mess and completely ruins everything. Okay, ruins all the hype, ruins everything, a complete mess. You go into 2022, you have an expansion for that game that makes it worse. Uh, literally, the AI got worse and yeah, it just, it, it just made it worse. And then you have the CEO leaving. A new CEO comes in, IndyCar game is delayed, uh, the BTCC game never happened, it either got cancelled or delayed, R Factor 2 is still the same, Motorsport games have released essentially one game, one, in the whole time they've existed, Kartcraft is still like a beta game, that's like a niche thing, it's still a beta, so they've released one game. They're in endless debt, they are burning through cash, still, they still have all the licenses hoarded up, and they're not releasing content. The game they release in December is not coming to consoles. If they wanted to make money to keep the company alive, they're not even... The next game they release is not being released to consoles. How are you going to make money? There's going to be a port eventually for that game coming to consoles eventually, but they're obviously struggling trying to get the R Factor 2 platform over to consoles. Uh, and that is just... It's a big struggle. The next NASCAR game isn't anywhere close and nascar is their premier license because that's what sells that's the biggest motorsport license they have and the indycar game which i do believe actually will sell pretty well because it's the first indycar game in 20 years uh is delayed to 2024 by the time you reach 2024 it would have been five years five years and within that span there would have been one new game that utterly flopped and is broken that's why my hope is very, very minimal. That, that's why I don't, I don't see it. I don't see how they're going to get out of this. If the IndyCar game doesn't do well, the NASCAR game is screwed. Because the NASCAR game is going to be the IndyCar game. Blatant. Front and blatant, guys. The NASCAR game will be the IndyCar game, just with different cars. It, the platform will be the same. The physics will be the same. The engine will be the same. Everything will be the same. Now, EA do the same thing. You know, every game engine, all that stuff. But they're literally just going to swap out the indie cars for the nascar stuff that's it so if that indie car game doesn't do well there's no hope for the nascar game there's no hope it's genuinely that's it done and at what point can you keep surviving without making money like uh, unfortunately this is a business guys i personally don't believe you can just constantly burn through money but uh we'll see we'll see if motorsport games can do it and then again the reason another reason why i don't have a lot of hope if this all goes tits up and everything goes wrong and the licenses get up for grabs it's gonna take another four or five years just to get something out there i'm i'm in a it's a very scary state where i don't think you can see a new nascar game until 2028 that's actually realistic 2028 it's 2023 because what if the license gets caught up and the game never comes out and then it has to go somewhere else and then and then you can't make the game and then you have to start from scratch again it's just uh yeah i don't know i'm i'm very worried so the nascar heat 5 update is coming but that's going to be a 2022 release so the modders are going to still have to work on that and then what what is coming that's new you need something new i need something new i'm just really annoyed man i'm just really annoyed and frustrated because every time I, I i wait a few months come back to it nothing's changed what is the future of nascar console gaming there there is no future i don't see it there, there's no there is no path that I see where this, you know, where, where NASCAR console gaming comes out on the right side. Unless Motorsport Games makes the biggest turnaround I've ever seen a gaming company make and somehow out of nowhere start actually making profit and making games and getting good word of mouth and that their games are good and they, they the, the online works and then they can start hosting esport competitions which bring in sponsors which generate more money all the esports stuff has just stopped like I, there's nothing so yeah i just um yeah it's a little it's very worrying it is very very worrying and i guess i'll come back in december with another what's the future of nascar console gaming because in december it'll be clear is that Le Mans game coming out does indycar have a new release date What's happening? Is Motorsport Games going to survive post-2023? Like, are they going to get more funding? That's that's the state that we are in. It is uh, not ideal, not acceptable. It really is not, but that's the state that it's in. And so uh, I'll keep trying to make content for content for you guys. But I, like I said, I'm usually optimistic and I, I don't see a pathway, uh, really. So 
we'll see how it goes um short video for today i will see you guys tomorrow uh we should be streaming tonight as well um finishing up the br i don't know how long the story mode for formula one is but i'll try to finish it up tonight if not then do another stream in the future but that'll be tonight somewhere around 9 p.m eastern if you want to join along um take care of yourselves enjoy the rest of your day and uh whatever you do please don't beg for ea to take the license because I, I i still don't want that you know i don't want to buy furniture for my my garage no but i would like a game so i guess ea is better than nothing yeah i guess so uh <laughs>